Hey guys, look what I have here. It's my first graded, first ever graded coin. From it's from Venezuela from 1930. Ten bolivares. Um, it has Latin Monetary Union specifications. That's why I've bought it. Um, I was looking uh, quite a long time for this coin. Um, I could find them cheap in the USA, but in Europe it was hard to find it for a good price. And from USA most dealers um, take part at this fucking eBay program and it automatically calculates and charges um, import fees and stuff. But that's wrong because these coins don't um, have um, taxes in Germany. Um, yeah, but I bought this from a US dealer. Um, we agreed on a fair price. Um, this one was, let me see, yeah, it was 76% um, over spot, 67 I mean. Um, yeah, 50,000 mintage. Well, it has 500,000 mintage, but only 10% of it um, were went out to to circulation. Um, and the rest um, is the in the federal reserves of Venezuela. Yeah, nice coin. Um, I always was against. Uh, slabs and, and graded coins, but now since I have one in my hand, it's it's quite okay. It's, the slab is not as large as I thought, and um, you can see the coin, also the rim, and you you got yeah guaranteed that it's real and what grade it has. Not bad. Um, my opinion about graded coins has changed. That goes okay. What else do I have? Yeah, I got a coin from Denmark, twenty kroner. Come on, focus. There, twenty kroner from Denmark, nineteen oh eight. Nice condition, most of them are. Um, yeah, I just bought this one because it was quite cheap. Um, mintage is um, 243,000 and I just paid 4.5% over spot. Those coins are a bit more expensive usually. Um, the same for this one. I, it's a 25 pesetas, Spain. Um, yeah, I got the uh, other date of it already, and I also just bought this one because it was cheap. It was included shipping, just 1.2% over spot. No fake. Also nice. Then, a coin which I was looking quite long for. Latin for my Latin Monetary Union collection, 20 pesetas, 1889. Um, the special thing about this coin is there are originals and there are we strikes <coughs> and you can recognize them by looking into the stars. Come on, focus. Um, left, left and right of the date there is a star and in the star there are numbers. In here in the left, you see um, there's 18 in it, and on the right, the 89. And in the we strikes, you see 19 on the left, and then 61, 62, or whatever on the right. Yeah, and um, I wanted the original coin, and yeah, now I've got it. Um, 875,000 mintage, um, paid 
about 32% over spot for it. Okay, what else? Austria, 10 Kronen, uh, 10, yeah. I would translate to 10 crowns or something. Um, can't focus. There. Also a nice coin. Um, Six hundred fifty-four thousand mintage, and it was just six point nine percent over spot. Now I'm going to show you two coins at once. German coins. On the left, it's Wilhelm the first, Kaiser Wilhelm the first, and on the yeah on the right, Kaiser Wilhelm the first. On the left, Wilhelm the second. Um, ten mark coins. They exist in ten mark and twenty mark. This one are ten mark. Those are a bit more expensive. Um, these were thirty percent over spot. Then I've got francs, both the same date, 1913. Six hundred thousand mintage, Latin Monetary Union. There we are. Okay, and then I've got something a bit more special. This one here, one force. I don't know how to pronounce it. Chidit from the Ottoman Empire. Sultan Mahmud II, 1808 until 1839. These coins are expensive. You see what I've paid: 50 euros for. Just, I don't know what it was, I forgot 0.8 grams or something else. Yeah, but the condition is quite nice and mostly you see them ex jewelry, but this one is in a really nice condition. And I also got this one, this is a full, full chedid. And it was also expensive. But it's in a very nice condition. Yeah. That was it, guys. I've got more coins coming in. And I will show them to you soon. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.